This problem walkthrough video will demonstrate how to use the SUMIF function in Excel to analyze supply chain data. Here's the data for our problem. Newton Manufacturing produces scientific calculators. The models are the N350, N450, and N900. Newton has planned its distribution of these products around eight customer zones, Brazil, China, France, Malaysia, U.S. Northeast, U.S. Southeast, U.S. Midwest, and U.S. West. Data for the current quarter, the volume to be shipped in thousands of units, for each product and each customer zone are given in the data file, and Newton would like to know the number of units going to each customer zone and also the total units of each product shipped. There are several ways to get this information from the data set, and one way is to use the SUMIF function. The data has been collected in an Excel file, which will be used to complete the following two requirements. A. Using the SUMIF function, complete the table below for the number of units distributed in each customer zone, rounded to one decimal place. And B. Using the SUMIF function, complete the table for the total number of units of each product shipped, again rounded to one decimal place. Let's open the Newton data file and begin our analysis. We can see that we have three columns that include customer zone, calculator model, and unit volumes. Requirement A asks us to determine the total number of units distributed in each customer zone. Let's format our answer area first. I'm entering an A into cell E2 and then typing customer zone as a heading in cell F2. Now instead of manually hunting through the list of customer zones, which has many repeating items, let's use a neat feature in Excel called the unique function. Click on cell F3, type the equal sign, and start typing the word unique until you see the function appear you'll see the description for the function which returns the unique values from a range or array. Select it and now you should see the parameters for the function. For the array, select or type the cell range A3 through A26, which contains the customer zones. Type the comma, and then you'll see a list that contains two options, true to return the unique columns from the array, or false to return unique rows. Since our data is organized into rows, select false, then type the comma again. For the last parameter, you can select from either true, which returns rows that appear exactly once in the array, or false, which returns every distinct row in the array. Since we have multiple instances of each zone, select false from the list. Enter a closing parenthesis, or just press enter or return, and presto. We have our list of customer zones. Now I'll type the word total into cell F11. Next, I'll give our output column a heading of total volume in thousands of units in cell G2. I'll make it boldface, center it, and then adjust the column size so it fits nicely. Next, I'll make our calculation work area green to differentiate it from the rest of the worksheet. Now we will apply the SUMIF function to satisfy the requirements. The SUMIF function extends the SUM function by allowing the user to add the values of cells meeting a logical condition. Click on cell G3 and type the equal sign. Start typing S-U-M-I-F, and when you see the function appear, click on it or press the tab key. You should see the form of the equation, which in parenthesis includes the parameters for our test range, criteria, and range to be summed. The test range is the area to search to test the criteria. So for the customer zones, this range is in cells A3 through A26. So select that area or type A3 colon A26, and then press F4 to lock that range so it doesn't change if we copy our formula cells. Next, type a comma and select or type cell A3, which contains just the first zone in the list. The SUMIF function looks for matches of Malaysia in column A, and if a match is found, will add the corresponding volume to the total. Type a comma again and select or enter the volume in cells C3 through C26. Press F4 to lock the range. Then type a closing parenthesis and press enter or return and you should end up with the result of 2,292.6. Remember, the data is in thousands, so this tells us that the total unit volume for all references to Malaysia is 2,292,600 units. Now we can simply copy that formula down for the remaining zones, so click on cell G3, then click the little green square in the lower right corner, and drag it down to cell G10, and you should end up with 6,324.1 for the U.S. West zone. Now for the total. Click on cell G11, and from the ribbon, select the pull-down arrow next to the summation icon, and select SUM, and the function should automatically select all the cells above in the range G3 through G10. 
Alternatively, you can enter that manually by typing an equal sign, then sum, then open parenthesis, and either select or type the cell range G3 through G10, close parenthesis, and then enter. You should end up with a total unit volume for all zones of 26,408. And you can add a decimal place by clicking the Insert Decimal button from the ribbon. And you'll see the total will then be 26,408.0, or 26,408,000 units in total. Next, for requirement B, we're asked to determine the total number of units for each product shipped. I'll enter a B into cell E14, then type the word model as a heading into cell F14. Next, we can use a unique function again to pick out all of the unique calculator models. Click on cell F5, type the equal sign, and start typing unique to bring up the function. Select from the list, and for the array, select or enter the cell range B2 through B26, which contains all of our calculator models. Type a comma, then select false to return all the unique rows in the array. Type a comma again, and select false to return every distinct row, just like we did with the customer zones. Press enter or return, and you should see the three calculator models, N350, N450, and N900. Now type the word total into cell F18. Now I'll copy the total volume heading from cell G13 into cell G14. And then select the cell range G15 through G18, and shade those cells green like I did above. Now for the SUMIF function for this requirement, click on cell G15, type the equal sign, then start typing SUMIF and select the function when it appears. This time our test range is in the cell range B3 through B26, which contains the three different calculator models. So select or type that range B3 colon B26 and press F4 to lock it in. Type the comma, then for the criteria, select cell F14, which contains the first of our three calculator models. So the function will search the test range for the N350 calculator model and add up all the corresponding volumes for each instance in the data table. Type the comma sign again, and for the sum range, select or type cell C3 through C26. Press F4 to lock the range, and then type a closing parenthesis, and press enter or return, and you should end up with 8,606.5, or 8,606,500 units of calculator model N350. Now we can copy that formula down to the other models by clicking on cell G15, then click and drag the little green square in the bottom right corner down to cell G17. You should end up with 6,544.7 for N450, and 11,256.8 for calculator model N900 in cells G16 and G17 respectively. Now click on cell G18 for the total and select the pull down next to the summation icon in the ribbon and select sum. The function defaults to selecting the cell range G15 through G17, which is what we want. So press enter or return and you should end up with a total volume of 26,408 in cell G18. Click the increase decimal button in the ribbon to add a decimal place, and that's it. Notice the total volume by calculator model equals the sum by customer zone, and that acts as a built-in check to confirm our work is correct.